So it's another day. Bit beat up. The uh, this flu thing's kind of got me got me down a little bit. Didn't get much done yesterday, and didn't sleep for shit. Don't feel real good today. So but we're gonna keep on moving. I mean, we could lay around and do nothing and be miserable, or we could work and be miserable. Doesn't really make any difference. So we got the uh, exhaust stuff. It's all laying in this pile of rubbish right mill. And uh, man, I need to clean I need to clean the garage. The neighbors are probably talking bad about me. But anyway, we're gonna get this stuff all uh, hung up in there and get the uh, coolants and levels topped off, maybe bike brakes bled, and see if we can't get this thing to move under its own power. That's the plan, Stan. Okay, here's the current situation. Uh, everything went back in as it should have. Our exhaust, and it's pretty good. It just hits in one spot. It doesn't even hit anymore. But it kind of hits, uh, but that's just because this side isn't pulled over. So the problem is, is our last piece that goes up around through here and out here no longer goes up and around through there and through there because of this goddamn sway bar. So. So I'm I'm done with the sway bar. It was a nice fucking pipe dream. Um, I'm sure it would have all kinds of great advantages. If I wanna go down that road someday, I might try to skin that cat when I'm in a better mood. And I have MIG gas to cut and weld shit because I don't feel like cleaning up all the paint and meticulously prepping stuff for TIG welding. And I really don't feel like making that other mount on the other side. So I'm just going to pull the damn thing off. And that should hopefully reset us to zero. The only thing that is different then will be just this protrusion right here. Uh, so hopefully it, <laughs> the exhaust clears that. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, then we'll throw the, both the shocks on. And it'll be just like it was made uh, from the factory in 1978. And it's no worse first do no harm right so that's where I'm at it's frustrating I, I should have saw that coming didn't see it coming because it was laying outside as you saw and I was inside and when you look at something you just look at it you say like oh okay well here's the stuff and here's my areas and I can but you know it's important to pay attention look at all the details multiple systems I've already talked about that so that's where we're at um, Sway bar's coming off. Damn, sway bar's coming off. Maybe that'll be a project for another day. So, anyway, the 
uh, sway bar project. It would be a project for another day because sway bar is gone, bullshit is fixed, our tailpipe is in place where it needs to be, up oh, meow, and running over the hump and we'll be able to get both the shocks in and yeah, you know. And so with that said, I think I'm going to uh, I have to get the shock down so I'm gonna drop this guy down uh, when I do that I think what I'll do is I'll check the reservoir on these sh these uh, brakes a lot of times you can get away with a pretty decent bleed job by just cracking the valves at them one at a time and just let the kind of gravity do its job um, and push the air out uh, I usually find it's best to do is to do that and then go back with the old buddy push the brakes um, turn and release squeeze turn and release kind of thing but yeah anyway uh no sway bar no problems <laughs> yeah Okay, so <laughs> probably because I'm sick and I'm, I'm, I'm sick and I'm tired. So sway bar is gone. Bam! Look at that. Now the shocks will fit, the muffler, the exhaust system fits, the axle's sitting nice and solid. Why we had it, we went ahead and bled the brakes uh, while it was up in the air. Just kind of a gravity bleed. We'll see how that works, see if it's good enough. Um, it's all pretty much tied up underneath here. So. I have a list of stuff I need to do, um, so I'll probably check that, but we're looking at like, I'm gonna have to do something that parking brake cable, like maybe just zip tie it up out of the way for right now, and coolant, fluids, yeah, so, but uh, progress, progress is good, right, yeah, I don't know, probably gonna be, edit this whole thing out, just tired. feel like booty hole I'm not one to be defeated though so that's gonna weigh heavy on my mind pulling that sway bar out of there and all eventually work it out in my mind what I need to do to get it all sorted out and put back together but uh, for now it's just off it's off the car we'll never make the deadline with that thing jamming this up so now we don't have to worry about it Sunday fun day. We uh, got the transmission fluid in. We got the coil packs in, spark plug wires. Um, I have to do some moving around the catch can because of spark plug wires. It's the theme of this car, man. It's just like everything clashes with everything, but that's what happens when you don't do it all at once. You try to piecemeal, piecemeal stuff. Um, I am kind of interested in putting a, a little wet kit, maybe a 50 shot of nitrous on this thing just cool the intake and uh i don't see where it can really hurt much of anything probably make things better actually so anyway that's just something that's floating around in my mind uh transmission fluid is in radiator fluid or the coolant is filled it's just water i always like to use water because it's easy to dump if something goes wrong and uh doesn't make quite the mess that regular coolant does and then you know, come time to get coolant, you can just dump that, dump out whatever you want, and then put coolant in it. Uh, yeah, so 
tighten up the downpipe and it is about ready to start I do believe I'm gonna go over my checklist take a look see what I got on there accomplished what's missing and uh, probably go get some gas